Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you a program that I wrote called Sprite Splitter. Now what Sprite Splitter allows you to do is, it's a completely free program that allows you to take a sprite sheet, open that sprite sheet, and then save it as a sprite strip, which is just a strip of sprites put together so that a programmer or designer can easily use them in whatever developing platform they have for their two-dimensional game. So. Um, let's start out with some of the menus here. We got just standard about. Now we have in view, we have full screen, normal, just to, for easier viewing. Now we're going to hit open here, which is under our file. This allows us to open up our sprite sheet. So I'm just going to pick a sprite sheet that I downloaded from the Spriter's resource. It's from A Link to the Past um, Zelda game originally on SNES. I'll hit open. And you can see our sprite sheet has been put into um, our viewing canvas here. So we just have um, the full width and height of the screen. This is my sprite sheet. Um, now we're going to take and you can move this rectangle by clicking down with the mouse and moving. Um, or you can just click and bring it wherever you'd like. Now we're going to... Um, take this rectangle and you can also move it using the arrow keys on your uh, keyboard. Um, now we have some options over here. We have the number of images per row. So we can count about seven of these sprites here and you can see that it obviously doesn't cover all seven sprites there. So now we have number of rows so we could set this to two or three or however many we want. We're going to do one for um, these sprites. Now will have the width of the images. That's about 18 pixels. And all these values are in pixels. Height of the image, 26. And now you can see that it's still not um, covering all these sprites. So we have our begin cut, so we can change the X and the Y precisely. And now we have image spacing. That's the space between each cropping rectangle that we have. So I'm going to say about 5 there. And that should do it. Now what you basically want is all these sprites to be centered inside the rectangle um, right on the gold line that you can see here so now when we're done we're going to um, go ahead and click done here and this will bring up our sprite editor so in our sprite editor you have some um, options you've got preview right here and that'll just give you a nice little preview of your sprite that you currently have and you've got um, a toolbar up here so let's start with tools and now you can notice that we have these images here with this teal background um, we're gonna try to get rid of that so what we're going to do is hit remove background remove color sorry um, now in the before window you can see that we have these this uh, little cross now we're going to take that cross and put it into the background color and you can see in our after window it shows a little preview without that teal background. Now you can change tolerance so that you can get um, some uh, distinct image or you can um, hit apply to all images in sprite strip and what that'll do is crop all the colors um, will crop all the sprites in that item list with that color. So we're going to apply to all we're going ahead um, and click done here. So once we've done that, you can see that all these sprites here have that teal color removed. So if we hit preview, we can then see that sprite moving again. So we'll pause preview. Now what we want to do um, currently is trim the transparent pixels from those sprites. Trim white space allows you to take an image with a buffer of transparent pixels and then slim it down so that you have you don't lose any of your sprites but you uh, take out those transparent pixels so when you're working in X and A you can easily manipulate the um, sprites. So we're going to go ahead and hit trim white space. Now we have our little window that pops up and we're going to hit done. Now what that'll do is trim the image so that it has that um, that transparent pixel uh, value gone from it and now you can see in our preview we'll just see our little sprite animation with our um, link character moving 
So now what you can do is you there's a uh, undo. So if you'd like to undo some option, go ahead and click undo, or you could remove a certain image from the strip. Um, but we're going to go ahead and hit file, then save. Now, when we bring up our save window, by default it'll say sprite zero. And so we'll decide to save the sprite as sprite zero. Go ahead and hit that, and it'll save whichever image is selected here. Same with all the color tools. Um, now if we open up our sprite splitter folder, we can see that sprite0.png is in that folder. And we can zoom in, see the transparency on the side. All that's left is the link image. So we'll go ahead and close that. Back in sprite splitter, we're going to try and save the whole strip. So we'll go to save and then save the whole strip. And it'll give us a file name of strip 0 to 6, which is the amount of sprites in that list. We'll hit save, and now it will have saved the whole strip. So we can go to preview, and we can see that all of our images are there. Transparent pixels are gone. They're in a nice format, easy to use for X and A. Um, and that's Sprite Splitter. Um, if you have any suggestions or if you found any bugs, please comment. Um, please um, leave any form of feedback. It helps tremendously, and I'll try to edit the program accordingly. Or if you need help, send me an email, and I will respond promptly. Uh, thank you for watching.